it is now clear that Azimio la Umoja is now collapsing. Uh, this comes after yesterday's letter from Martha Karua, which uh, was written uh, to exit from Azimio la Umoja. And the letter reads, Kindly take note that our stay in Azimio la Umoja coalition is not tenable due to the prevailing political developments. Asnak Kenya, by way of this letter, we are giving notice to exit the coalition as stipulated in the exit clause in the coalition agreement. This notice is effective from the date of this letter. So that came from Martha Karua yesterday. And uh, one of the things that has motivated her uh, to decide to leave the coalition is the fact that now ODM, which is a constituted party of Azimio La Umoja, also joined government. So in this video, I want us to assess critically to see uh, what this means to ODM, what it means to NAC Kenya and Martha Karua, and how it will affect our political uh, landscape henceforth. If you are new to our channel, take a moment, hit the subscribe button so that we can continue having this kind of conversation. Now, Martha Karua was the deputy uh, presidential candidate of Raila Amolo Odinga in the year 2022 uh, when Raila Amolo Odinga ran on Azimio La Umoja. And uh, unluckily, uh, Chebukati announced Ruto as the winner of the presidential election, which in itself made uh, them to take the opposition side. Therefore, their role as opposition was to check government and to be an alternative government in waiting if the government in place wouldn't have worked. Now, they have been in opposition for quite some time, but due to some developments, eh, among them was the Gen Z protest. Uh, there has been a lot of change in the political landscape. But even before the Gen Z protest, there were protests that were being led by the Azmio coalition, which were, one, they were against high taxation and poor economy. Then another issue was also a stolen election, whereby the Azmio said Ruto stole their votes. And that uh, ended into a bipartisan talk, which they agreed some things. Among them was the reconstituting of IEBC. But Martha Karua, at that particular point, still did not buy the idea of that by person talks. Because according to her, he said that the results or the agreement from the by, from the by person talk were only favoring leaders. And they were more of giving these leaders some positions and some amount of money, but not really... Uh, they were not really citizen oriented, despite the fact that the protest had been painted to look like they were for citizens. So that in itself signaled that Martha Karua was uh, planning to leave as Mula Umoja. Now we had this uh, Gen Z protest, which Gen Z have been calling out the government, saying that the government need to follow the constitution, the government need to be accountable, and it also need to put in place public servants who are competent, that is, cabinet secretaries and any other public servant who is competent enough. And it reached a point where even uh, the, it became very difficult for the president to, to, to maintain the situation. And the Gen Z's were calling for his resignation. And the political party, that is ODM, took advantage of the situation and hijacked the Gen Z's protest, then went to negotiate with the president, promised him that if they reach a truce and if they make a deal, then they will give, uh, they will ensure that the protest come to an end. So it was more like uh, the ODM was trying to uh, take advantage of this protest by the Gen Z to help the president solve the problem politically. Yet, 
From what you've seen, the issue with Gen Z has no any relationship with political issues, but governance issues. They were concerned with the poor governance that has been displayed in the regime. Now, the reason why Mata Karua has decided to come out of this uh, a party of, or this coalition of Azimi, I think it is because now uh, the coalition, one of its constituents, which is ODM, in fact, ODM is the largest party in co the coalition, is deviating from their core cause. The cause of Azimela Umoja, which is in its manifesto, is to be an alternative of Kenya Kwanza. So by going to be part of the Kenya Kwanza, it means you are diluting your cause, you are diluting your aim, you are diluting your goal, so you become directionless. You don't know where you are going. So I find it that Mata Karome has seen that there is nothing of substance, of nothing of importance that he is doing in this coalition. Since the coalition itself has been diluted and it's no longer as Miola Moja, it's a coalition uh, that is a mongrel of a coalition, a mixture of very different things, a mixture of bottom-up, a mixture of Azimio. So I find it rational and uh, a good decision that Mata has made based on the fact that I think it's more of being told Toka. He has been chased without uh, being told to go away. Because how would you be part of the coalition that opposed the government then, after the, uh, losing an election, you t take your members to the government. And after taking your members, you still defend the fact that you are still in that coalition. You know, it, is that it does not bring any sense. How will you be criticizing this government? Yet, you, you have members, some members of your coalition in that government. It, it does not make a sense at all it, in it itself. Uh, lack of principles, lack of uh, ideologies, lack of uh, uh, an agenda. It is just more of people who are there to take advantage of the prevailing political situations and maximize them to their own advantage. And I think that is what ODM has done, to be very honest and clear. Now, how will this affect our political landscape? The effect is, first of all, the divisions has just started, and the division will go on. The division will continue. The division in Azimela Umoja, maybe it will be dissolved, you never know. Now that Martha Karua has left, you know we have there Kalonzo Msioka and we also have Jubilee. They may also decide either to leave or dissolve the coalition, which will leave the coalition, maybe remain with only one party, which is ODM. The other thing, this also reflects what is happening in the government. It means that in the government, since ODM has brought in some individuals that did not run with them during the election, it means there are also people in the ruling party who are not happy or who are not satisfied with the introduction of these new members. And we should expect that maybe, maybe at some point we may see them coming out and explaining it and telling people that they are not happy. Remember how uh, Ruto, when Ruto, when Raila brought in, uh, when Ruto, Uhuru brought in Ruto, when Uhuru brought in Raila, Ruto was very angry, and his allies left Jubilee. That's how they form UDM. So that can also be replicated in this government. And now these people who will be rebels of the governments, who will be unhappy with how it will be conducting its things and how it may have brought in opposition leaders, then. Uh, it is possible that they may not unite with those who are from Azimiola Umoja who have left it because of ODM joining government. And you may see a new political formation forming whereby the rebels or people who are who did not like the fact that opposition is being interfered with. And now that the government also is bringing in new people, will may now form a new political formation. So... And for Mata Karua individually, this in itself may either break him, break her, or strengthen her. It may strengthen her in the sense that people could see that she is now a strong individual, an individual who has principles, and it may be easier for her to get more support 
from either rebels who will come from the government or just from the general population. In fact, the Gen Zs have applauded to his idea of leaving the coalition because they believe that any leader or any person who joins the government through their protest is a person who is taking advantage of the situation and should be condemned. It is also possible that she may be isolated, assuming that nobody lives as me, nobody else, or nobody also leaves the government. So it may create some kind of isolation if that persists. But I highly doubt if isolation will be the thing. Because the push of this protest is people, people who are suffering, people who are happy, who are not happy with what is happening in the ground. And by Ruto taking or DM leaders, especially uh, those who are at the top and taking him to the, his government, that does not cure the problem that people are facing. Because these people who have been brought, assuming even they have that capability or the capacity to do wonders, are you sure that they can work wonders in government that is led by uh, people who do not care about Mwananchi? I don't think so. And will they do wonders in a manifesto that they do not even understand or believe in? Because ODM or Azimio Moja had a very clear manifesto that was to be followed. And people who came up uh, with this manifesto or among these individuals who have now left the coalition. The government or Kenya Kwanza also had its own manifesto, which I'm not sure if these members from ODM have really even been previewed with it. I don't know, I'm not even sure if they understand what bottom up is. Neither do they really even believe in it. So let us continue following this closely. And we hope that uh, uh, the best thing that will happen to our country is that it will be liberated economically. And that is the third and last liberation. I don't know what to think about this. Please feel free to show opinion at the comment box. Until we meet again, bye-bye.